yet another weekend and this weekend I'm doing something a little different that I have yet to ever do before. I was too old by the time that I realized that this was something that would happen and I've just never had anyone really to take until this year. This year I'm in the marsh but I don't have a gun in my hand. It is a youth weekend and I have with me my cousin Jason and we're gonna try and kill him his first duck. Came to a spot that I hunted a lot during teal season. I can hear a bunch of birds on the marsh. Um, so I think it's gonna be pretty good. We got two boxes of ammo. Hopefully he can at least hit one with that box of ammo. <laughs> Not that good of a shot. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna learn really fast how hard it is to hit a duck, but um, it's really warm and we're pretty cold front tomorrow. It's the high for today is like 93 degrees and tomorrow it's supposed to drop down to like 70. So um, I wish we could have gone tomorrow, but I didn't have time. So but today we'll have to work. And I think it'll do pretty good. I think optimistically speaking, he'll get three birds. We'll see. It all depends on cheating. But hold tight, we're only about 10-ish minutes away from shooting light if that at this point. It's a little cloudy, so we might have to wait a few extra minutes just to let it brighten up a little more. But I got a GoPro in the water, and I'm going to try and run the big camera today. And we'll see if I'm not getting that to work. I'll throw a camera on someone's head. So stay tuned. I think it's going to be a good one. No, we'll just wait a few minutes. No reason to hurry. I want you to be able to see, is my biggest thing. It's shooting light now, and uh, there's a pretty decent amount of birds flying around. A bunch of teal, a bunch of blue wings it looks like. But it's just a little dark still, I'm trying to let it lighten up. I know unless they got up, we have probably six or seven in the decoys, but I can't see them. We're just going to be patient and let it lighten up a little bit. There was a big little group that just flew by here a minute ago, so I think, I think we'll be alright. Why don't we get up and see if you can't shoot one of them as they get off the water. I don't see him. Uh, I should walk out towards the decoys a little bit. Right in front of you. See those three? Coming right to you. They must have gotten up. Shoot that. Oh wow, there was a bunch over there. Here, get ready on all these. Get ready. No, they're way too far. They're not gonna do it. Shoot it, get it, you see it in the water? Mm -hmm. Well shoot it. Get it up then. Yeah, Jason, you gotta pay attention. Oh you got it. Good shot. Well we don't know what happened with that bird. He definitely hit it. I never saw it swimming away. I walked right to where I saw it hit the water. I hope it didn't dive. 
but we made a mental note and we'll go back to it and see if we can't find it, but figured we'd try and get a few more of these early, first first thing in the morning birds, so hopefully a few more will come in. Shoot him. Get your gun up and shoot him. What? Shoot him. Jason. There's one on the water. On the water. Good shot. There you go. First official duck in hand. I think it shot it in the neck. A little blue wing. Uh, I don't know where I hit it. <sighs> I'm not sure. I don't see any obvious blood coming off of it, so. Good job. Alright, so that is, that's it for this video. Unfortunately, after he shot that bird, basically all the birds just kind of quit flying and we really didn't have a whole lot of other luck. We saw a few groups of pintails super duper high, but they weren't interested in doing it. And then there weren't any more teal in the area. I don't know. I figured out with that marsh something about it. It just isn't a really great morning marsh. It seems like all the birds go somewhere else. Um, I haven't really figured out where yet, but I just wanted to take a second. This was the youth hunt here in Nebraska. It's actually been a couple weeks, that's why this video is getting posted later. I got really, really busy during the week, had a lot of work, um, wasn't able to get it edited, and then we had opening weekend, and I wanted to get opening day up really, really fast, but I got this quick little video up. I was really excited to be able to take my cousin out for a youth hunt. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I always had, like, growing up, my dad would always take me on youth hunts and stuff like that. I mean, we didn't duck hunt when I was that age, but we always deer hunted and turkey hunted and everything else. And, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to be able to continue that with my cousin. I took my other cousin, uh, Terrell, my roommate, one you guys see probably pretty often. That was his little brother, and I just kind of wanted to keep it going. I think it's important for us as hunters to get the youth involved, whether they're cousins or eventually our own children. I mean, someday I hope to be able to take my own kids hunting. But if you guys have youth people in your group who may not hunt as much, like those youth hunts are so important because, like, as a youth hunter, it can be, like, super hard to get good shots in or like just really even know when to shoot like I was able to teach Jason a lot on this hunt I taught him about decoy spreads I taught him about different kinds of ducks I mean I taught him when to shoot and whatnot I mean I wish he had gotten more opportunities to shoot but like I taught him quite a bit and sometimes I feel like when we do just a regular hunt youth sometimes can get lost in that and like so these youth seasons are really important if you got youth in your group Remember these youth seasons. Most of them are probably over by this time, but just remember them for the future. I can remember when I first started duck hunting. I mean, I wasn't a youth hunter, but like, I didn't know what I was doing. And like, I had some really great mentors that, um, you know, taught me the right ways to duck hunt and what was wrong, what was right, what to shoot, what not to shoot, uh, when to shoot, decoy spreads, you know, calling. I just think it's important. So, if you got a youth, take them in your group. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like, leave a comment. Hopefully, you guys are taking some youth people out, or uh, you're getting started with duck season now. Hopefully, just like we are. And then, of course, hit that subscribe button. Really, really thankful. We probably by the time this video has gone up, we hit four four hundred subscribers this last week. You know, it's not a whole lot, but like. You know, it's about 200 more than we were 
back in August, which is some good growth. Um, so continue to hit that subscribe button. We're on the race to a thousand subscribers. That's what we're trying to get to by the end of this hunting season. Don't know if we'll make it, but hey, that's the hope. So share it with a friend if you got somebody who would like these videos. And of course, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really do hope to see y'all back on the next episode.